So I'm going back to the middle position here and all on the row and I'm taking the sine way out. Remember it's the yellow one is the original, the red one is what's going out from the external ADS ADSR. And I go with the sine wave in this input, which I call sustain. I mean it's the fourth one and I'm going now modulate. So you see how it's changed depending on the pitch. We saw it before but I'm showing it again here. I will go on bottom position because this is the position I found very interesting. And before I forget, because I don't didn't make any notes, remember that you, you could send the signal back here, you know. Maybe I should show it with a now because I will forget after. You know? So I go bottom position on the switch. If I send the signal back, it's, it's really making much difference logically. <laughs> send it to the second input. Huh? So you see it's, it's uh, you can make interesting things and you can shape because it's you have a pot for every input you know which is really cool. Okay so this is in case I forget and you can change you can try all kind of combination. Huh? Now I'm gonna modulate with a simple LFO. I'm sending a sine wave inside and you see I'm 
showing is taking the same oscillator for wave shapes, but uh, I mean coming here, but you could of course of course take another one, you know, so it's so it's not following the same voltage at the input, you know. Let's do it.